name is Mrs. Ryan, and I teach physics and biology here at Central High School. This is my 10th year at Central. Uh, I grew up in Yonkers, New York, which is just north of New York City. I went to high school at Maria Regina High School in Hartsdale, New York. It was an all-girls Catholic high school, um, and we had to compete to get into the high schools in New York. I never really planned to teach high school. Um, I always wanted to do science research, um, but when I got out of college and started to look for jobs, I found that I liked working with people more than I liked being in a lab by myself. And so when the opportunity came to teach at Central, I took it. But that was after I was home raising my kids. So before I started teaching at Central, I was hired part-time to work as a youth director. So I had lots of opportunity to interact with high school kids from Springfield. I teach uh, physics, but I teach three different levels, the CP level, the uh, honors level, and AP physics. When I was hired here at Central, I was hired to teach biology. But in the few days before I got here, they switched it to physics. And so um, I have been enjoying teaching physics more than I expected. I love the math part of it, so I teach the CP level to 10th graders, uh, the honors level to 10th and 11th graders, and the AP level to uh, 10, 11, and 12th graders. Uh, I didn't really choose Central. Central chose me. I interviewed with Dr. Stoddard and with the principal at SciTech, and Dr. Stoddard called and asked me to come work here. I was going to go to grad school for physical therapy, but when the opportunity came to work here at Central, I took advantage. And I worked as a floater, teaching the uh, very entry level intro physics the first year. And it was extremely challenging to me. But I loved the environment, I loved the kids, I loved the expression of the students and their freedom. Um, to communicate and how they like to relate to the teachers. My hobbies, I just really love to swim and work out. Um, I enjoy being outside as much as possible and, um, and just being active. I'll try anything. I love doing um, biking or if I'm running or skiing, whatever is available, but swimming is my main hobby and um, I really enjoy competing when able. I love ocean water swimming, like open water where there's no end in sight. I really enjoy just being outdoors um, in the bay or in the ocean. As I said in the beginning, I've worked here, this is my 10th year. Uh, I don't think any year has ever been the same as the one before. And I always appreciate the new challenges that come along each year and the new faces that come along as well. Um, my favorite part of Central is the kids. I can't uh, explain how they just kind of give me a lot of energy and I love the fact that you can have a conflict one day and be best friends the next. I find the openness and the acceptance and the diversity just really uh, refreshing to me. I don't think students realize how unique they are in their acceptance of one another and the multicultural environment that's here. I think I love that the most. Um, when I was in college, in grad school, I interacted with a lot of international students. They were my friends, uh, people from all over the world. And I, I find a little bit of that here in the students at Central, that diversity and cultural diversity that is just fun to be involved in and be a part of. Another interesting fact about myself is that after college, I went to work at an animal disease lab called Plum Island off the end of Long Island. And what was so cool about this lab is that we had to actually change our clothes to go in and shower out because we were working with viruses that could infect our livestock. So I worked on some foot and mouth disease viruses and uh, some projects involving um, 
survival of the virus under certain processing conditions. So it was really kind of cool. We lived, worked with some uh, vet students and some of the scientists down in the negative pressure uh, lab, which meant that it was important to have the negative pressure so that the air would not move out of the building, but stay inside so as to keep any of the organisms we were working with inside the building. Uh, there have been books written about Plum Island, and uh, they're not really true, they're a little embellished, but um, if you take a ferry from Long Island to New London, Connecticut, you will pass by Plum Island. My life outside of school is young life. Um, uh, before I started teaching, I was working part-time as a youth director, and we sent some boys to a Young Life camp, and they came back and said, Miss Ryan, we have to do this in Springfield. And without knowing what I was getting into, I said, yes. We cleaned out one of the boys' basements, and we started doing Young Life Club. And if you ever come to club, it's like a party with a purpose. We have just a really great time uh, dreaming up crazy things for kids to do uh, and giving them a safe place to have the kind of fun that you always wish you could have, but you kind of feel funny if you do it by yourself. Well, we have a whole group of kids having a grand time. And then we give them something to think about, and that usually is something related to faith and um, what the Bible has to say about God's love for them. So it's a time where people get to have a grand time, eat lots of food, and then hear something that will keep them encouraged and hopefully make them feel that they're precious and loved. And I do Young Life all year round, not just during the school year. And we have a club in the summer and then take kids to camp for a week that will change people's lives because it's just so beautiful and um, so positive an environment. So I encourage anyone to come. We're open to anyone who would be interested. Our camp is this year is August 5th to the 10th. And um, you can see me if you want to want more information. But anyone's allowed to come. We do parasailing, a ropes course, uh, tubing. There's basketball all day if you want. Volleyball, soccer, and uh, the boating. We have water skiing, sailing, kayaking, canoeing, paddle boarding. Um, and more. So there's no place where you'll ever be bored or find yourself like um, feeling alone. There's always people to, to interact with and who will enjoy your company. So that's what I do when I'm out of school uh, is I do Young Life and I love it. I want to tell you the reason I do Young Life. Um, I think our teenage years are the times when we make decisions that affect the rest of our lives. And we make hard choices, and sometimes we don't make the best choices. And there's no place to go to kind of recover from those things. And I think Young Life is a place where kids can come and not have to be put in positions to compromise anything that they believe in or about themselves. They can just be who they are. And I think that's why I do Young Life. I think that uh, it's a very serious time in people's lives and they need a safe place to be. And I know I made decisions that I didn't appreciate or I didn't like that I made and um, it affected me the rest of my life. And I know that a lot of students here are in the same position and I want to give them a place to, to either recover if they have or to have support if they want to be who they are and uh, be true to themselves.